Welcome back to the channel and my, your favorite segment and mine, Brian, reads the news. Today I'm going to read an article on the Pawn Stars television show. Let me give you guys a look at it. Here it is. This is from the website uh, hotpoptoday.com. It says here, Pawn Stars cast just can't keep themselves out of trouble. Pawn Stars has been a staple of reality television for more than a decade, centering around the Harrison family and their beloved Las Vegas-based establishment, Gold and Pilver Silver Pawn Shop. The series first aired in 2009 and is now well into its 17th season. Throughout 577 episodes, viewers got to know the Harrisons and witnessed some amazing deals involving some truly weird items. Watching the show makes you feel like anything can happen, but as it turns out, things are even crazier behind the scenes. From conflicts with the law to personal facts that were kept quiet, here are some Pawn Stars secrets the showrunners don't want you to know. The world famous gold and silver pawn shop is probably the most popular pawn shop in the world at the moment, but before becoming a go-to place for people to sell things they found in their attic, the establishment had rather modest beginnings. The shop was first opened in back in 1989 by Richard Old Man Harrison. He employed his family members and ran it as a 24-hour family business. Rick, his son Corey, and his best friend Austin Chumley Russell were nothing but regular workers. It was the will and determination of Rick Harrison that made them into bona fide TV stars. Massive potential. Even though the shop started small, Old Man always knew it had the potential to make them famous. Since it was a family business, it naturally had a special place in their hearts, but more importantly, it was also in the heart of a booming city that is Las Vegas. Years before the official TV show started, Rick Harrison regularly pitched ideas about a show featuring his pawn shop. He was rejected over and over again, but he didn't give up. His ambition and determination finally paid off when one network said yes, thus the Pawn Stars was born. Success Mentality Like with everything around the shop, Harrison approached this idea with a business mentality. There's no doubt that he thought that a reality TV show about a family business would be immensely interesting and fun to watch. But his main reason for this was to increase awareness and get publicity, which would eventually draw more customers to his pawn shop. He once shared the Star Telegram, quote, I figured that a show would mean free publicity, and free publicity would mean more business. This was an incredibly smart approach and one that would pay off in the end. A clear vision. Harrison's vision of the show had him convinced that it would be a hit. But the more he tried, the more he got turned down by various networks. Quote, everyone told me that no one wanted to watch the show about four fat guys in a pawn shop he once recollected. And while this description doesn't sound interesting on paper, it turned out that this was exactly what people wanted. Pawn Stars now generates millions of views daily, and the most interesting part of it are the four fat guys doing business. Hard work and determination. Most people give up on their plans and projects after several failed attempts, but not Harrison. As rejections started piling, his determination grew. He had a clear idea and a vision that would help his pawn shop reach new heights. Unfortunately, no one was willing to share his dream until one network became intrigued by his idea. Today we know that Pawn Stars airs on the History Channel, but way before this network, Pawn Stars had two other homes. It was originally aired on Comedy Central's Insomniac, and the show even called HBO its home for a couple of episodes. International Stars Pawn Stars is by far one of the most popular reality shows in America, but to everyone's surprise, it would also end up becoming a beloved watch in all parts of the world. Even Harrison himself was surprised by the show's popularity and was often mobbed by screaming fans wherever he appeared. Quote, Buenos Aires, the Philippines, Kuala Lumpur, New Delhi, everywhere in the world people know the show, Harrison said in one interview. Believe it or not, the show has been translated into 38 languages and is aired in over 150 countries worldwide. Troubles on the Horizon Pawn Stars became a massive success, but it also came with its own fair share of troubles. And it turned out that the majority of these troubles involved legal issues and the plenty of people trying to get some money out of the Harrisons' pockets. Quote, The more money you make, the more times people sue you. People are always going to. 
eventually go to sue you for something, Rick Harrison shared with Fox News. One of those legal troubles included three Harrisons and Chelmy receiving a suit from the ex-manager Wayne Jeffries. And while the details about the legal case remained under wraps, it became evident that troubles were going to keep on coming. Weird erotic art. The pawn shop is a place where you bring all sorts of trinkets and items no one else wants. So it doesn't come as a surprise that Silver and Gold Pawn Shop attracts its fair, fair share of weird items. In one chat with Heavy, Harrison shared that one of the wackest items ever brought into the shop was a piece of erotic art that originated in Japan. It's all hand-painted, it's on a scroll down to every bodily fluid. Everything's really exaggerated, he told the magazine. Harrison later realized that he couldn't display the art in the shop, seeing as it was inappropriate since his mother frequently dropped by. Scary and creepy items. But the erotic art wasn't even the weirdest thing that ever brought to the shop. As Harrison recalls, there was one guy who brought a full collection of human skulls. Some of the items are so weird that you have to have them. But this was beyond weird. It was scary. The guy claimed that he collected all of the skulls from a dental school, but he lacked any papers to prove his claim. No one at the shop was convinced, so naturally, they declined to buy anything. And even if he had some form of documentation, having human skulls displayed all over the shop would scare off the customers. A real treasure. Unusual items are a reoccurring theme at the world famous gold and silver pawn shop. But every once in a while, someone walks through the front door and brings in a real treasure. Some of the most memorable items at the shop were a 1932 Lincoln Roadster, a 1961 Gibson SG Les Paul guitar, an old ID from Guns N' Roses guitarist Slash, and even a full-size submarine. But probably the most rare and valuable item was a didrachum, a coin based back to 325 BC that was used in ancient Greece. Melt first, ask questions later. Having a coin from ancient Greece in your shop is definitely remarkable, but surprisingly enough, this wasn't the item that got their pawn shop into the headlines. Several years into the show, Harrison bought a full collection of gold coins. As per the shop's policy, the coins were melted down and the gold was ready to be reused. What they didn't know was that the coins were stolen. The controversy didn't stop there, as their shop was eventually sued for melting down the coins without any permission. Talk about bad luck. Chaos within. With all of those customers coming in and bringing things, wacky items, they You'd think that they were the ones bringing havoc to the shop, but the truth is that the pawn shop stars often make their own contributions to the chaos on and off the camera. This especially goes for Austin Russell, a.k.a. Chumley, who does it better than anyone else. During one episode of Pawn Stars, he accidentally broke a $20,000 bass guitar. To make things worse, he didn't even tell anyone. He just casually placed it back and continued his day as usual. We wonder who took the blame for it. Pawn Shop Pitfalls. One of the perks of owning a pawn shop is getting all sorts of items from every corner of the world. This can also be its biggest downside. Pawn shops are notorious for taking items no one else will. So most often than that, criminals will bring in stolen goods to get rid of them and get paid in the process. In fact, there was this one time when Harrison brought diamond earrings worth $40,000. Later on it was revealed that they were stolen. The thief was apprehended and got jail time while the diamond earrings were given back to the original owner. Unfortunately for Harrison's, no one gave them their $40,000 back. Planning and Coordination Running a pawn shop can be very unpredictable and dangerous. As Rick Harrison says in the opening scenes of the show, quote, You just never know what is going to come through the front doors. But the truth is, most of the time they actually do know. Because of how popular the pawn shop is, many deals were made in advance. The staff will coordinate with the potential customer beforehand and make sure they arrive at the exact moment. This ensures that the TV show is smooth and natural. Quote, let me call an expert. Anyone who's watched at least one episode of Pawn Stars knows they have an endless list of experts. For every item that comes into the shop, there is a specialist that will verify its authenticity and put a price tag on it. But while it may seem that all of the experts are Harrison's friends, they're actually professionals hired by the show's producers. They've all agreed to be part of the show to further their careers and get some publicity of their own. Scripted Deals 
Ever since the first episode aired back in 2009, people have wondered how much of it is real and how much it's scripted. Since it's a reality TV show made for entertaining, it shouldn't come as a surprise that most of the things seen are scripted. The dialogues, jokes, negotiations, and prices are all true and natural, but the potential sellers are coached by various experts on how to behave in front of the camera. This way, they don't seem nervous and awkward. The real MVP. There's one shocker for you. The Harrisons and Chumley may be the faces of the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop, but they don't actually work there. So what do they do? Well, they actually work in a separate private section of the shop away from the regular customers. They only appear on TV for the purpose of televised pawn deals. In reality, all customers are served and sorted by store manager Travis Brenton. Talk about mind-blowing discovery. Olivia Black's story. The Harrisons and Chumley are at the forefront of this popular TV show, but there was also another shop employee that seemed destined to join them in stardom. Olivia Black was introduced as a night shift employee and quickly became quite popular among the fans of the show. However, Black just disappeared from the show at one point and never came back. Controversy surrounded the matter and reports surfaced that she was fired for posting some naughty pictures on a modeling website. But as it turns out, she was never fired from the pawn shop. The producers just removed her from the TV show. An honorary family member. This pawn shop is definitely a family business, but this family comes with a plus one. Austin Russell, better known as Chumley, is a longtime friend of Corey and an honorary family member. He's also the most popular member of the cast. He was actually up against a bunch of other employees, but he eventually got the role because he's Corey's best friend. This turned out to be a jackpot, as the show would probably be half as fun without him. A shady pass. No one can argue that Chumley is a really lovable guy. He lightens up the show and the mood with his presence. He's the real counterweight to the more mature and serious Rick Harrison. This is why fans adore him and could never imagine the show without him. However, his private life is surrounded by much controversy. In 2016, Chumley's home was raided by the Las Vegas Police Department and the amount of illegal drugs they found there was astonishing. They also confiscated eight unregistered firearms he ended up receiving three years of probation and counseling, managing to avoid a jail sentence. Brawl on Hollywood Boulevard. As you might have noticed, Chumley is no stranger to run-ins with the law. His arrest in 2016 is just one of his many misdemeanors. In 2012, he was involved in a major fight on Hollywood Boulevard. When the cops came, his opponent was already badly bloodied and lying on the ground. He claimed it was self-defense, but while numerous cameras caught the fight on tape, no one really knows what exactly happened that night. Chumley was not convicted and managed to stay out of prison once again. Corey's Night Out Chumley may be the main troublemaker on the show, but he's certainly not the only one. His best friend Corey Harrison is also familiar with the U.S. judicial system. While visiting California in 2011, he got extremely drunk at a local bar in Big Bear. He drank so much that he became really loud and aggressive, and even got into a fight with another customer. Police were called and Corey was arrested. The youngest Harrison ended up being put in jail cell to sleep it off. Main Tourist Attraction It seems that if you own a pawn shop, publicity and popularity are not all that great. The initial idea with the TV show was to raise awareness and increase the shop's customer base, but the show became such a big hit that it's now getting in the way of the regular business. There are so many tourists that come to Las Vegas to take a picture at the pawn shop that they end up interfering with the regular customers who actually leave money at the store. Not only that, but Travis Benton also revealed that the pawn shop has to be closed while filming the show. Biggest non-gaming site To get a feel for the show's insane popularity, the only needs to be look at some statistics. The show became the History Channel's highest paid series in 2011, attracting over 7.6 million viewers. The pawn shop itself receives millions of tourists each year and is the most visited non-gaming site in Las Vegas. If you pass by or find the pawn shop on Google Maps, you'll see lines of fans on any given day. The sidewalks are filled with people eager to catch their favorite TV stars. Funnily enough, most of the days they aren't even in the shop. All over the world. The stars of Pawn Stars are rarely at the actual world famous gold and silver pawn shop because they're too busy traveling across the United States and the rest of the world. Rick and Corey Harrison often embark on nationwide and worldwide tours in which they offer fans an exclusive VIP experience. 
in-depth insight into the family business and a chance to meet the super famous pawn shop family. Ironically, this means that they're really dying to meet them. You have to, more of a chance to do so outside of Las Vegas. Focusing on private life. After reaching the incredible heights with his reality show, Rick Harrison decided to focus on his personal life. This included tying the knot with beloved girlfriend Deanna Burdett. The wedding ceremony in 2013 was romantic, but many didn't know that their love life was full of ups and downs prior to that. Before they got married, Harrison and Burdett were involved in a huge legal dispute with Burdett's ex-husband. The man was on trial for a variety of lewd offenses, and lucky for them, he was sent to prison. It couldn't have been the most romantic period of their lives, but they got through it together and are now happily married ever after. Corey's Marital Adventures Rick wasn't the only one setting sail in the marital waters. Corey Harrison rarely mentions it on the show, but he was, in fact, married for 15 years. He married way back in 2000 to his college sweetheart, Charlene. The marriage was going well until fame came calling. The couple eventually divorced in 2015, after which Corey briefly dated Roxy Gonzalez. In 2017, he married Corina Kiki Harrison, but divorced once again a year later. They have a son named Richard Benjamin Harrison. An accidental daredevil. Corey Harrison is famous for his love of motorcycles and fast cars. And where there is speed, there are some epic death-defying stunts. Corey is no longer no stranger to pulling off some breathtaking stunts, but it has to be noted that most of the time he doesn't do them on purpose. His friends and family recall one time when he cycled at top speed and his fender came off, sending him into a super fast tailspin. On another occasion, he wiped out cycling while riding to San Diego from Las Vegas on an extremely rainy day. Online Death Hoax Celebrities are no strangers to death hoaxes roaming all over the internet. Chumley was just a regular guy working at a pawn shop in Las Vegas, but once Pawn Stars came a major hit, Chumley quickly became one of the most prominent and beloved reality stars in the world. However, this didn't make him immune to online fake news that started circling back to him in 20. 13. Apparently, he once died after an overdose and then suffered a fatal heart attack on a separate occasion. Quote, May we live long, rich forever, Chumley once wrote on a Twitter to confirm he was alive and well. Rest in peace. Chumley managed to trick death, but that, unfortunately, wasn't the case with Richard Old Man Harrison. The patriarch of the Harrison family died in 2018 at the age of 77. Sadly, this was not fake news and was officially confirmed by other members of the family. The confirmation also included a heartwarming tribute Rick Harrison wrote about his father on Instagram. Quote, The old man Harrison passed away this morning surrounded by those he loved. He will be tremendously missed by our family, the team at Gold and Silver Pond, and his many fans the world over. He was my hero, and I was fortunate to get a very cool old man as my dad, said Harrison. In memoriam. As the news spread, more and more fans started sending their condolences to the rest of the Harrison family and paying tribute to the old man. The team behind Pawn Stars even decided to air a special episode in his honor. It was an hour long memorial that where everyone on the show discussed their favorite moments with him, and there was certainly quite a few remarkable ones. As Rick said in the episode, There's a lot of memories here, and most of them are with my father. Old Man's Final Wish. After the old man passed away, everyone was united in grief, but to everyone's surprise, there seems to be some sort of division between the family members. Since he was the owner of the pawn shop, he made a will in which he left the shop and all of his inheritance to his sons Rick and Joseph. But most people don't know he also had a third son, Chris. He was left out of the will entirely. The family claimed this was already discussed but chose not to reveal any details to the public. Weight loss. Throughout his life and the TV show, Carrie, Her Corey Harrison goes by the name Big Hoss. He got this nickname because of his large physical appearance and flamboyant personality, but most people will be surprised to know that he's not so big anymore. In fact, he had to go undergo a major weight loss program due to his health issues. He had lap band surgery and after his diet overhaul, he managed to lose over 200 pounds, a truly amazing feat. Sponsorship deal. You don't have to be a die-hard fan to notice how big the cast of Pawn Stars is. They eat something in every episode, and if you look closely, 
you'll notice that they mostly eat Subway sandwiches. Sure, they're tasty and nutritious, but eating them every episode must have an effect after a while. While Subway is actually one of the sponsors of the show, this means they pay good money to make sure their sandwiches are featured regularly. It seems that everyone is using Pawn Stars to gain more exposure. Pawn Stars Merchandise Pawn Stars is now in its 17th season and has a whopping 577 episodes, but believe it or not, this was not what made the Harrisons their millions. They generate revenue from something ex entirely different, the Pawn Stars merchandise. Fans all over the world are fighting to get all of the official merchandise the Pawn Star team puts out, like mugs, shot glasses, t-shirts, and even a signed Chumley bobblehead. The History Channel even launched a Pawn Stars The Game to play on Facebook. Celebrity Cameo Appearances Rick Harrison is the main man behind the TV show, and it was his vision, dream, and goal to reach unimaginable heights. And while reality shows are no stranger to getting celebrity cameo experiences, Pawn Stars has hosted more A-list celebrities than any other. If you watch the show from the start, you'll probably notice that some of the biggest Hollywood names like Phil Collin, Joe Elliott, Bob Dylan, Meredith Vieira, Kip Winger, Ric Flair, Vic Flick, and, my, and fan favorite comedy man Steve Carell all dropped by the gold and silver pawn at one point. And if you follow them on Instagram, you'll see even more going on behind the scenes. Talk about reaching the stars. Beauty Salon Co-Owner The Harrisons are incredibly successful TV personalities and have countless good business ideas. But when you look at them, they, seem, they might seem a bit rough around the edges. This is why you would never think of them as owners of a beauty salon. But against all odds, Corey Harrison found himself in this line of trade. He is the co-owner of a beauty salon in Las Vegas called The Beauty Bar. It was opened in 2014 and is one of the most frequently visited salons in the area. Candyman. It seems that Pawn Stars gave everyone enough courage to branch out in their own various ways. Chumley decided to give it a go and opened his own kind of store. Due to his persona and background, many think that he's something selling something illegal, but he is, in fact, opened up a candy store. He is the proud owner of Chumley's Candy on the boulevard, right across the street from the pawn shop. In his interview with a Las Vegas Review Journal, he said, quote, My brother and I wanted to do something fun, and the candy is fun. Two decades of service. Richard Oldman Harrison was by far one of the most popular members of the family. After all, he was the original business mastermind behind the pawn shop. But most fans were surprised to learn certain details about his life that emerged after he passed away. For example, he served in the Navy for 20 years. That's two decades of his life. According to some sources, he was sent to the military as a punishment for stealing a car. This was never confirmed or denied, but old man surely loves serving his country. Natural born workers. All it takes is one look at the Harrison family to know they're born hard workers. The pawn shop business comes so naturally to them, they love to do it, and they're good at it too. In fact, they're now so successful that they can quit whenever they feel like it. So this article on the Pawn Stars uh, television show goes on and on. Much more information is available on this site. It's a pretty cool site with a lot of great information. You can go to Hot Pot today.com for more information that's hotpottoday.com